In today's class, I am going to explain the topic area of sectors and length of arcs. So, the objective for the day is you will be able to use the circumference rule to compute the length of arc. My bad, here it is missing. It is length of arc and use the area rule to compute the area of sector. First of all, what is sector? What is arc? Those will define. So, uh, let me draw a circle first. Okay. Let me take the thing as two. Well, so, I'm taking a circle, right? You know how to find area of circle, right? Before that, uh, let me define what uh, a sector is. You know that uh, the line segment connecting the center of a circle and to any point in the circle is known as radius, right? So here I'm drawing to that I repeat the line segment joining or the distance between the center of the circle to any point on the circle we call this one as radius right the same way the other one is also radius say that uh, OA is radius OB is another radius now the area enclosed between these two radii, that is the plural form of uh, radius. So the area enclosed between these two radii and uh, this arc, I hope you know that uh, what is arc. If you take the total length of the boundary line, we call that one as uh, the total length of the boundary line is circumference. But if you are taking a, a part of a, a part of a, the circumference, we call this one as arc. Therefore, again, I am repeating the area enclosed between uh, two radii and uh, the arc is known as sector. So this one represents the sector. So this one represents the sector. Now, how to find the area of sector? You know that uh, how to find area of a circle, area of a circle, which is uh, pi times radius square. Okay. Now, let me take a circle. Let me take a circle. And uh, what's a radius means? Uh, then I'm taking some numbers. Let's say that... Uh, uh, 3.5 centimeters okay so pi is uh, shall I take 3.14 or 22 over 7 means uh, I go with 22 over 7 because 3.5 is uh, divisible by 7 right now again uh, don't uh, don't be in a hurry to cancel this way uh, because uh, the reason is, uh, first of all, you have to expand or uh, you have to elaborate uh, the exponents by PEMDAS. So, 22 over 7 times 3.5 times 3.5. In fact, uh, there are high chance of making mistakes when you are uh, dealing with the decimals. So, let me convert these decimals into fractions, 35 over 10. 35 over 10. Now, let me take the butterfly method. So here it is uh, 7 times 1, 7 times 5, 7 times 5. Again, now 5 ones and 5 twos. Okay, 22 over 2. That gives me 11. Now, 11 times 35, that gives me 365 over 10, that is uh, 
But uh, keeping the question in view, I know that 36.5, if I round it, I'll get 37, but I'm taking 36. I'm taking 36. I know that it is 36.5 equals 37, but for my comfort, I'm taking this one, 36, so that uh, I can explain this one a little better uh, about the sectors. Okay, now let me move this one a little here. Now you know that area of circle equals to let's say 36 square centimeters. Now if I make the given circle into two halves, let's say that uh, I'm making into two halves. You know that this is called as a semicircle, semicircle, right? So if I ask you to guess what is the area of the semicircle? What is the area of the semicircle? Can you guess? Okay. So here the area of a semicircle, semicircle equals to 18 square centimeters. Right? Now, let me make it into this one, four parts, four equal parts. Now it's resembling with our pizza slice again. Now, what is the area of uh, this portion, the shaded region? You know, area of circle is 36. And uh, what could be the area of uh, this part, the shaded one? Uh, you can guess. Okay, so here, area of, uh, I can say that it is a, a quarter that is equals to uh, one fourth of 36. That gives me nine square centimeters. Now, if you observe carefully, the total angle in a circle is, the total angle in a circle is 360 degrees, 300. 60 degrees. Suppose if I am taking a, a semicircle, you know that uh, the angle is 180 degrees, 180 degrees. So how is it connected means uh, uh, if I take 180 degrees, please remember straight line makes 180, 180 divided by the total angle is 360 degrees uh, times uh, whatever the area is there. You know, 180 over 360 means that gives me half. Half of 36 equals to 18. Now, if I make this one into four parts or four slices, each slice, each slice here, the central angle will be, the central angle will be, you can see that uh, this is going to be 90 degrees L shape, right? Now, if I take 90 degrees, over the total angle 360 degrees times the area of circle. You see that the area of circle is taken from here, which is 36. So 90 over 360 means you may make use of calculator, you'll end up with one fourth. So what is one fourth of 36 means? That's giving me nine square centimeters. So from this, uh, may I say that, may I say that, uh, if the central angle is 90 degrees, if the central angle is 90 degrees, we are taking 90 degrees as the numerator and 360 as the denominator that is multiplied by the area, right? Suppose if the central angle is 180 degrees, 180 degrees, then we are taking the numerator is 180 degrees over 360. 360 is the total angle of a circle, right? So in such case, then may I say that, may I say that, let me move the screen a little power here, okay. So if I'm taking a circle and let's say that uh, the central angle is, the central angle is, then if the central angle is, let me take some 60 degrees, 60 degrees. Uh, can you find the 
area of the slice. Can you find it? Yes, it is uh, 60 degrees over 360 degrees times whatever the area of circle, right? So while comp computing area of sector, area of sector, it is uh, very simple to remember, very simple to remember. Let's look at uh, the central angle. If it is 90 degrees, we take a uh, 60, sorry, if it is 60 degrees, 60 or 360. If the central angle is 90 degrees, 90 or 360 times area of circle. If it is 180, 180 or 360 times area of circle, right? Now, keeping that one in view, what is the area of a sector means, area of sector means uh, here we write that uh, area of a sector equals to central angle, central angle over 360 degrees times area of circle. You know, area of circle equals to pi times uh, radius square. So this is the condition for computing the area of sector. Okay, without wasting much of time. So let's jump to an example. Find the area of uh, sectors found by UTV. My bad. Here it is. Uh, oh, UTV. Oh, right. So this is really looking tricky. Because uh, if I'm in a hurry, then quickly I write that, uh, okay, area of uh, sector equals to always I prefer to write uh, the condition. It is uh, the central angle over 360 degrees times pi times radius square. So central angle is uh, 70 degrees over 360 degrees times pi is uh, 3.14 times so radius is uh, I see that 8 inches so 8 square then I may take a calculator and quickly I compute uh, what is the value of this one but it is not the correct answer you know why can you guess what is the mistake I made here Think for a moment and uh, what is the mistake in my calculation? Here, read the question carefully. He is asking UTV. Therefore, angle UTV means uh, that is this portion, this portion, right? So, what is the angle here it is not 70 degrees i know that the total angle is 360 degrees from that if i take away 70 degrees so this is going to be 290 degrees 290 degrees so what are the central angle you have taken here that is not correct that is not correct Okay, so you have to read the question carefully. You have to read the question carefully by looking at the diagram at times you may be deceived. So let me take that here instead of uh, 70 degrees. Let me take uh, 200. I'm sorry, it is 290, not 270. 290 degrees or 360 times uh, 3.14 times. Uh, 8 square. So let me quickly grab my calculator and compute this one. Okay, so let me take my calculator. It is 20 by 36 times 3 point, my bad, 29, 290 divided by 360, 3.14 times 8 square. That gives me 130, 130.4. So please do write the units. It is uh, square inches. Okay. Any questions on this?
well the next one is uh, find the areas of the following sectors it is similar to the previous one so uh, i'm sure you can do it so let me skip this one the area of a shaded sector is shown find the indicated measure area of circle m okay so here see that uh, the area of a shaded sector is shown okay so let me write the condition area of a sector equals to central angle over 360 times uh, pi times radius square okay then here it's given that uh, 56.87 square centimeters central angle is given that uh, again see that uh, shaded means uh, shaded means uh, this area is shaded right but the angle is uh, really it's misleading it's not 50 degrees okay so let me take that 360 take away 50 then 310 degrees but every time you need not subtract sometimes the questions may be straight then you may have to take 50 and you have to read the question carefully here shaded reason means uh, the other uh, side so it is 310 degrees over 360 times pi value let me take 3.14 and what is the radius means uh, i don't know so let's say that it's a radius square then 310 over 360 let me quickly grab my calculator so it is uh, uh, 310 over 360 times 3.14 just i'm computing only this portion which i got 2.7 times radius square equal to 56.87 then the next portion is you know how to eliminate this one so division by 2.7 so i will get uh, r square equal to 56.87 divided by 2.7 it is 21.06 you know how to eliminate uh, the square we get square root on the other side so 21.06 equals to r okay then let me compute uh, square root of 21.06 okay it is 4.58 so 4.589 or maybe 4.59 or approximately 4.6. This is the radius. But uh, the question is uh, not to find the radius. The question is find the area. Here, this is my first part and second part is uh, area of uh, area of uh, circle equals to pi times radius square pi value is uh, 3.14 times what are the radius i got 4.6 square so 3.14 times uh, 3.14 times 4.6 times 4.6 so it is 66.66.44 square units. So that is square centimeters. There is another trick also. Here you may take all square values straight away. And that value may be plugged in here. And pi times r square that also gives you the final answer. Instead of computing the square root and again finding the square etc well any questions okay 
Now, there is a, a question here, describe and correct, which means the given solution, whatever is uh, here that is not correct. So what is wrong? That's what you have to find. Area equals to, I know that uh, pi r square. Uh, so everything seems to be okay. But uh, let's see what's wrong. Pi times uh, radius square. Hmm. Now I noticed that uh, the radius is, see, radius is 12. Is this correct or not? Do you see? Do you see? So this is what most of the time may happen because uh, when radius is given, you may take uh, in a hurry the diameter. So you have to look for the fine details. You have to look for the fine details. Here, again, I'm repeating the diameter is 12, but here radius is taken as 12. That's the mistake, okay? So if you are asked to correct, uh, so, that's the reason always I recommend you to write the formula or rule. And another best method is, look at the question, if diameter is given, you do find the radius first. You find the radius first. Just point blank. Again, I'm repeating, if diameter is given, don't think anything. First find the radius and do any whatever the question is asking you, okay? So here, uh, diameter is, uh, diameter is uh, 12, and yesterday we discussed that uh, radius equals to half of the diameter, which is half of 12. In fact, no need of any calculations, you can do it mentally, right? So it is, uh, pi is uh, 3.14 times, radius is uh, 6 square. Just, you know, you can take the calculator and you can multiply 6 square. Is, it is not 6 times 2, it is 6 times 6, uh, 36. Okay. Let me take my calculator. It is uh, 3.14 times uh, 36, which is 113.04 square feet because the area is always expressed in square units. Questions on this? Okay. Now, finding length of arc. Uh, already I mentioned what is uh, an arc. Okay. If you are taking the circle and the total length of uh, the boundary line is known as the circumference. This is what uh, we discussed in the last session, right? So here, uh, if you are taking a portion, if you are taking a portion of the circle, we call this one as arc. We call this one as an arc. Now, you know how to find the circumference. The formula is two pi r. Then in such case, how to find a portion of the circle, okay? In fact, uh, while constructing, I mean, while constructing the geometrical figures, uh, we use these arcs a lot. Well, here is the picture. You know that uh, for uh, drawing circles, uh, we draw this way. And uh, suppose uh, if you are uh, constructing triangle, squares, etc., by the time you may be asked to draw a part of the circle. We, we use, uh, you know, we call it as arcs, you know that. Now, let's go back to this one. Now, uh, how to figure out a part or a portion of a, the boundary of a circle, how to find that, okay? So, Let's say that uh, uh, really quick, I'm taking here the circumference of the circle. Circumference equals to, I'm taking, uh, let's say 40 centimeters. Some numbers randomly I'm taking, okay? Suppose uh, if you have given a circle, if you have given a circle 
and if you uh, say that uh, the circumference is given as 40 centimeters then uh, okay then the next part is let me make this one into two pieces two equal pieces and if my question is what is the what is the length of this you know the total length of the boundary or circumference is 40 units therefore you see, you can see that uh, half of uh, half of that i'm taking okay you know that the angle is uh, the angle is 180 degrees uh, then how the angle is related means uh, angle is 180 degrees over and the total angle in a circle is 360 times 40 times 40 right that gives you you know 180 over 360 means that is half half of 40 that gives me 20 centimeters while computing the sector also i have given you the same example let's say that i am making into four pieces this time if you are asked to find just let me try to remove this portion okay in case uh, if you are asked to find the length of uh, this piece okay i mean the length of a part of the boundary line okay then uh, the total length of the boundary line is 40 units then you can guess that uh, it is made into four parts and what is the value of this means 10 it's absolutely right how did you get means uh, is there any relation between the angle the central angle and the length of uh, the arc think for a moment It is a uh, 90 over 360 times the circumference. You know, 90 over 360, grab a calculator, you'll get one fourth of uh, 40. That gives me 10, which is matching with our uh, prediction, right? So, three times the circumference. If it is, uh, if the central angle is 90, I'm taking uh, 90 or 360 times the circumference. Therefore, keeping this one in view, so length of arc, that means a portion of, uh, please see that uh, if I'm trying to compute a portion of this one, a portion of the circumference, uh, this is called as arc. So length of arc, length of arc, equals to central angle over total angle in circle which is 360 times the circumference this is the circumference one which is 2 pi r okay so let me quickly go to the next page for an example so so find length of uh, arc ab arc ab so here uh, please notice that uh, this is uh, a portion of the circumference okay so let me write the hmm, just a copy from the previous page always always i suggest you to write what are the data is given i see that uh, radius equals to eight centimeters so uh, i hope you remember in some of the previous questions uh, we subtracted what are the angle is given what are the angle is given but in this question it is not required because uh, whatever the angle is given central angle 60 degrees and uh, you are asked uh, the related arc okay okay just give me a second let me grab some water okay here the central angle is uh, 60 degrees over 
the total angle in a circle is 360 times 2 times pi value. I'm taking, do I have to take 22 over 7 or 3.14? It depends upon the radius. Radius is 8, which is not a multiple of uh, 7. So I'm taking 3.14. Okay. So let me grab my calculator and compute uh, 60 over 160 times 2 times 3.14 times 8 equals to 8.37 this many centimeters okay questions on this again a quick reminder that is uh, do not subtract this way for every sum it depends upon the given question okay all right next to find the circumference of the following circle so here a portion i'll say that uh, length of arc is given length of arc is given and you are asked to find the circumference circumference so i can say that this sum is to be done in two parts first one is uh, if i know the length of arc length of arc what can i find so let me write the length of arc formula first so length of arc equals to central angle over 360 times 2 times pi times r central angle is uh, yes this angle is uh, connected to the given arc therefore 150 over 360 times 2 times pi pi value let me take uh, 3.14 times radius i don't know right so radius let it be radius and length of arc goes here okay which is a uh, 10.5 now let me compute uh, all these values really quick uh, so 150 over 360 so 150 over 360 times 2 times 3.14 that gives me 2.61 times radius equals to 10.5 you know how to isolate radius by dividing 2.61 on both these sides so the value of uh, radius is uh, 10.5 divided by 2.61 that is 4.02 4.02 so i'm uh, uh, taking the nearest value this one is four feet okay but uh, we did not finish solving the problem because uh, the question is to find the circumference uh, not the radius so if you stop here it is incomplete you know that uh, circumference of uh, a circle circumference of a circle equals to 2 times pi times radius so 2 times pi values 3.14 times radius is 4 so let me take my calculator it is 2 times 3.14 times 4 equals to 25 25.12 feet so this is the circumference this is the circumference of the given circle okay any questions okay so let's quickly summarize
the key points in in your previous class you learned that uh, area of a uh, circle area of circle equals to pi times radius square pi times radius square and uh, circumference which is uh, the length of uh, boundary line of a circle equals to 2 times pi times radius okay just let me move this one a little this side okay oops <laughs> i'm sorry so it is uh, 2 times pi times radius okay now if you are computing area of a uh, area of uh, sector area of sector so let me take uh, if you are computing area of sector please remember if you take a, a circle oops let me draw here okay if you are taking a circle and the area enclosed between two radii that is between two radius and radius and the arc this portion is known as uh, this portion is known as sector it is something similar to a pizza slice okay equal to actually we take uh, almost uh, the same formula the same formula but uh, we are not computing the full circle area therefore central angle over 360 times pi times radius square so what are the central angles given here if it is 60 degrees then take 60 or 360 if it is 40 degrees 50 degrees or 110 what are the angle is given that angle is to be plugged in here the place of central angle here the place of central angle we have to take in the same way you know that circumference is two times pi times radius uh, and if you are asked to find length of arc okay if you are asked to find length of arc length of arc uh, we are taking almost the same condition same condition i'll say that the same rule okay which is two times pi times radius but in addition to that we are taking we are taking the central angle the central angle just like uh, oops let me take a, a new circle and uh, if i'm computing uh, the entire boundary line that is called as a circumference that is called as a circumference but if i'm computing a portion of this boundary line this is called as arc okay uh, so we are computing a part of the boundary line a portion means we take that uh, the central angle what are the central angle is given uh, that is divided by the total angle in a circle times two times pi times radius so uh, have you noticed that uh, this is connected to your previous learning in the previous lesson you learned the circumference and uh, here this is uh, length of arc is connected to the circumference you learned area of circles in the previous lesson and now area of sector is connected uh, to this one because uh, the only additional portion is the central angle over 360 times uh, area that gives you area of sector okay that's it any questions further